That was Jacob Bradford reporting. Shifting gears now, the Houdat Nation wakes up a winner as the Saints dominated with a road victory in Dallas in a place where it has not been easy to win. No, not at all. The final score, 44 to 19, which technically is a scoregami, a score that has never occurred in the NFL. 44 to 19. It leaves huh. uh, fans hopeful that this might be our year. Maddie Kurth is live at the dome. Maddie. Origami, I like that one, Rob. But yes, yes, the Saints are 2-0 and here on the season. Fans tell me we are off to a good start, but with the Eagles and the Falcons on the horizon, now is not the time to get too comfortable. But look, this week was not as easy of an opponent as our first week, the Panthers. The Dallas Cowboys hadn't lost a single regular season home game all last year, and this game was their home opener of the year. But in comes the Saints offense to answer the call. The boys in black and gold scored a touchdown on every first half possession. Fans grabbing an early breakfast this morning at Betsy's Pancake House on Canal say the Clint Kubiak and Derek Carr relationship is just what they were waiting for. Even so, they aren't ready to put money down on a Super Bowl invite just yet. The, the Saints got new players and uh, you got to break them all in. We still have a tough schedule. Starts next week with the Eagles. Uh, we could come home with that with that win um, at, from Philadelphia. I think we're a contender. We're looking forward to playing that third game and doing just as well, getting another W, you know. Derek Carr is now tied with Tampa Bay's Baker Mayfield with five passing touchdowns, and Alvin Kamara makes headlines, leading all players in most rushing touchdowns. He got four in that game. Add in his one receiving score and Carr's rushing touchdown and Kamara's six total make the most touchdowns scored across the NFL. And some great news for fans watching the game back here at home. Entergy reported restored power to 95% of the areas affected by Hurricane Francine by 11 a.m. yesterday morning, just in time for that noon kickoff. I'm sure they'll take that timing. Yeah, oh yeah, big time. Hey, look, this weekend uh, we've got the, the Eagles, another high-powered team. Maddie, the fans that you've talked to, they, they feel pretty confident that you know it, we could keep this ball rolling. The confidence is there. I will say there are a little bit of nerves, a little bit of jitters. The Eagles are not quite the Panthers, which we dominated easily. The Cowboys, which, you know, what an upset, but we'll take it. So this game is really going to be, I think, for the fans, the make or break on if we're ready to sell it all for a Super Bowl win or if we might have to go back to the drawing board here or there. All I heard was black and gold Super Bowl. That's I think, that, I I think yeah. that's what I, yeah. I'm sure that's what you heard. <laughs> all right. Maddie Kurth live at the Dome. Thanks, Maddie.